Hey, Box. Bam! Hey, everybody. How's it going? I am Matador Phillip. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XV Platinum Demo. Still have really no idea what I'm doing, but my Fox friend says this must be the place. Up ahead is where your dream ends, the one place you feel safest. Okay. So, like I said, still not really sure where I'm going. You've always been a real sleepyhead. Am I actually going to wake up? I kind of doubt it. Or will the demo end and this is a two-minute episode? Maybe. Either one's <laughs> going to happen. See, I know all about you. Pretty impressive, huh? Yeah, totally. Wait, is this actually where it ends? Surely not. Have you tried we'll to find out. these doors? Oh, wait. The end is just up ahead. Can I open? Oh, wait. Oh, I think I may have just gone into that. So, from what I've heard, this can be like a three-hour demo if you take the time to explore, or it can be significantly shorter if you don't. Surely that can't be it. That was very short. Uh -huh. I would think. I'm not going to risk it, though. I'll explore a little bit, and then we'll see. And if this episode goes a little long, then that's cool. So we'll find out. Also, another thing I've noticed is that the loading times on this are really long. Have you noticed that? Hmm? Like, no, sorry. For such I'm... a short demo, like, this is loading a lot of stuff, apparently. I mean, it looks really good. I gotta say, like, I will not criticize a game's graphics. It looks fantastic. It's very pretty to look at. If this is any indicator for Kingdom Hearts 3, then I'm on board. Ooh. Okay. Nice cityscape. It's the Citadel. Okay, so this must actually be... So where's my Turian? Yeah, exactly. It's the Citadel. Reapers are coming. Something doesn't feel right. I'll be right back. Could be the fact that we're still dreaming. I think this is one of the locations that, like, I don't know if it'll be playable in the game, but I know it's actually a location in the main story of the game. It's your home and all, but is it truly the safest place? Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, my little fox friend! Oh, no, he hit him with a sword! Oh, man. No boss is my ass. What is this thing? I'm not a boss. Oh, he's gonna protect me. Through my darkest dreams. Wait, oh, aw. Ooh. Oh. oh. Maybe it does tie into the story. Oh my god, yes. Oh shit. Oh look, you're brooding now. I'm all grown up and brooding now. Is that really you? Totally, let's do this. Ooh, I have... Oh, yeah. And okay, the this... Buster Sword. Okay, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool, I gotta admit. Let me stay locked on him. And huh. now the music sounds like Final Fantasy 2. <laughs> you need to dodge. Or Final Fantasy 3 or Final Fantasy 4. Or four. block. Ah, oh. Eh, ah, oof, ah, oh. Eh, oh, that does not look fun. Ah. Sure, surely that would have killed me. Why you no block? Yep. Ow. I am blocking. Um, no, I am not. Nope. You certainly are not. What the, what the hell, man? I'm holding down X to defend. Oh, it said some attacks can't be blocked. That, that would make sense because this thing, this guy's sword is huge. Okay, there we go. Oh, that was cool. That was pretty cool. Ha! Ha! Ooh. Is that legit the Buster Sword? <laughs> it kind of looks like it. Look at it. It looks like it. Totally. Well. Wait. You killed it. Oh, hey, he's dead. Was that the Iron Giant? Awesome. Aww. It totally said Iron Giant. Oh, man. Corbin Diesel. <laughs> you did it, Knocked. So that's two Fast and Furious references in like five seconds. Yeah, we, we were if good. If you caught them, let you us know. You can finally know. wake up. Oh, wait. Was I supposed to be going through all those doors? <laughs> Whoops. I'm going to go back and do all those again, I can think. Can you? Hopefully. Hang on, I bet I'm, you I'm, were. I'm gonna go find out. I bet I was, because I'm uh, I'm an idiot. Okay, well, while you figure out how to go back there, I'm gonna go light some paracord on fire. Okay. Cool. So, we'll be right back. Okay, I started the game again because I missed everything like a doof. I really didn't mean to. I wasn't trying to miss everything. I thought I'd be able to go back. Apparently, I'm not. Unlocked bronze plate again. So, we'll be right back. I'll, I'll let you know when I find something interesting. Wish I could see more of that dude. That guy's awesome. Okay, so my, my fox friend doesn't want me to go this way apparently, but we're gonna find out what this is real quick. Something stirs in the dreamscape. Okay, whoa. What in the hell is that? World's coolest bird? 
I don't know, but it's awesome. It is coming for your face. It is coming right for me. Whoa. Oh, that thing was cool. Can you go around where it was, or you... S I think it's just there to look cool. No, it went on the other side. Yeah, but it was vanishing. It was, like, oh. disintegrating. That was neat, though. That would have been cool if you could have seen it. I bet they're just, like, later. teasing creatures that you can see later in the game. Hello, car. I, I think I know why this is here. I think you can actually drive in the game. Like, driving is a big component. Aha. No, forget that. I'm driving towards this door over here. There's, like, all kinds of books over there. There's stuff over here. There's stuff everywhere. There's stuff all over the place. What is this? Whoa. It's locked. Maybe you can't get it in that form. Okay. Transformers! What in the... Okay. Plate is locked. Cool. Alright, so that was just a bunch of nothing. I don't know what was up with all that, but... Still got more dudes to kill, so that's good. Don't know what else I'm supposed to be exploring, honestly. It probably doesn't come until those hallways. I guess we'll find out, though. I'm gonna stop wasting my time with these dudes, though. So I can actually get to it and find out what I'm supposed to be doing here. Hey, buddy. I love this guy. I really I really hope he's in the game. I don't think he will be. He's adorbs. More loading. Yay. Left goes under. Again, sorry. Doing my own paracord thing over here. <laughs> Okay, so we can either go down that long hallway again, or we can go find out what's over here. I don't know what that is. It looks kind of cool, though. Let's see what it is. You should find out what it is. What do you think it is? I think it's more stuff. Okay. Good talk. <laughs> I'm only halfway watching, okay? I know. Okay, also I got this. I got this shiny hammer, which is kind of cool. There are a lot of you dudes who don't seem to be doing much. What are these little, like, blue gremlins? Get off. Okay, so still exploring, I guess. I, oh, I think I can go over here. I think, maybe. Let's find out. Hey, dude. Just go everywhere you can. Gonna keep running around, keep doing stuff. Well, that was silly. What was silly? A thing that I did. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were talking about me. No. Like, that wasn't silly. I mean, I'm kind of dumb, but... No! Come on. Could I not have explored any of that? I I nodded my finger into the paracord. Whoa, knot, big dude! Is what I did. <laughs> you nodded your finger into it. Yeah. That's funny. Hey, big guy. Hey, baby. Okay, I guess I can't go to there. The one thing that looks interesting in this world. Actually, no, that's a lie. A lot of things do look interesting. Whoa, time sped up. Oh, for only a second, I guess. That's kind of cool. They have a lot of little things on the ground like this that do um, environmental effects. Like you can speed up time and you can change the weather. And, ooh, oh, damn it. Almost had it. That was, that was the thing I could get. I'm going to go back up there and get that real quick. But yeah, they have lots of little the things that you step on. You can change time. You can speed up the weather. You can, you can speed up the weather. You can change time is what I meant to say. But it, it's kind of cool. I can tell there are a lot of things they put in just to kind of show off that they they have different environmental effects like rain and weather conditions. And because it's, it's kind of cool. Like at one point I sped up time. God damn it. I can't get that thing. I keep jumping. I, I keep just like falling off instead of jumping. All right. So I don't need it. So I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to waste everybody's time. Okay. It seems like that's all I can do. So let's start exploring some of these doorways, shall we? See if any of them do anything. This one does nothing. This one does nothing. This one does nothing. I'm gonna be so disappointed if none of these do anything. Maybe maybe I accidentally just went through the door at the end before. Maybe that was what happened. Okay, let's find out. I'm gonna keep trying to go through these. Jump. Unless there's something else that I'm missing. No, I can't go in there, okay. Let's keep exploring then. Surely one of these I can interact with, you'd think. I don't know, man. Square Enix. True, Square Enix. Do story things in places because of reasons. Because Tetsuya Namura said so. Who? Uh, he's, he's a guy who directed Kingdom Hearts, and a lot of people who worked at Square Enix have been kind of saying, like, 
it kind of seems as though he doesn't really write his stories that very well in advance, but because it's it's just kind of his creative process. But apparently, it kind of seems like he's winging it, like he's just making up the story as he goes along. Huh? I never could have guessed based on Kingdom Hearts. Never, never in a million years can I really not go into any of these. Did I do all this again for nothing? Yep. Probably. Okay, I can't even go into this one. I messed something up. I think I did. Uh, okay. Are you ready? The end is just up ahead. Okay, that must be what happened. I triggered that on accident. Alright, well, this is still kind of cool. I'll play through it again. Because it was fun. I want to see more of the places that are actually going to be in the game, like this. That actually may not be in the game. But... Yeah. I think this is actually going to be... This might at least be a location. I don't know. I don't know. I sound you're... like I know what I'm talking about. I have no idea You what have I'm no idea about. what you're talking about. No one really knows no. anything. Oh, poor BB. I know. I just want to help him. So I will kill this guy. This guy is pretty awesome looking. He looks very Final Fantasy 1-ish. Just like old school Final Fantasy boss. This was also cool. I liked this. You have your little totem. Little sleepyhead. And this was awesome. The whole transform into my brooding adult self that will now cease to have all form of emotion. You know, because I displayed so much of that when I was a kid. Why would I ever use my non... my non-badass buster sword? I don't know. I, honestly, that's kind of... <laughs> it's, it's like, it's the usual trade-off. Like, the smaller weapon is faster, but it does less damage, and the big weapon is kind of cumbersome, but it does more damage. And it looks way more badass. I don't know, I kind of like his, his small sword. Uh, oh, damn it. I wasn't dodging. I was too busy talking about my sword. Ladies. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of like his smaller sword. It looks kind of cool. I'm going to actually start dodging now, like an intelligent person. Someone doesn't want you to wake up. That's why the monster is here. That makes no sense. I mean, yeah, it does. Kind of, a little bit. I mean, like, how would they prevent me from waking up, though? Um, have you not seen Inception? That's fair. You know, Leonardo DiCaprio could be running around in here somewhere. Okay, cool. Now he's dead. Hooray. He really does look Final Fantasy 1-ish. That's kind of cool. And now I'm back to being a prepubescent boy. You did it! Okay, maybe there's more in here that I can do. Okay, okay. The camera really does not want me to go that way. Now you can finally wake up. Or, or, I can go over here. There's stairs right there to your left. Where? Oh, yeah. Oh, but they're blocked off. Yeah. I don't know if I can actually go this way, but I'm going to find out. There's this. It's probably can a I? warning that you're about to probably. end the level. Can I? <laughs> I guess I can't destroy that. Oh, okay, it's walled off. Go play Still. the water. I want to see what the water physics are like. Yeah, let's find out. Them again. Woo! Okay. I mean, they're pretty good. It's nice. It looks good. I, I guess... Okay, that's pretty neat. That's neat. The ripples react with each other. Okay. Do they react with the wall? Square Enix spent the last 10 years solely developing their puddle physics. Water physics are so hard. Oh, I know. I, I will, I'm not going to shit on it. So I really wasn't, like, expecting anything new. And really, this isn't anything that I haven't seen in Uncharted. But that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's like the same principle, just, like, a little bit better. And, and by better, I just mean, like, more refined. And even then, like, I'm not dripping wet when I get out of it, so... Suck on that, Final Fantasy XV. That was a cool thing about Uncharted. Mm -hmm. I like I'll Uncharted. stop talking about different games when you're playing. <laughs> Other games during my playthrough. What does this do? Let's find out. Step on the awakening plate and proceed to the ending. Alright, I guess we're going to go to the ending this time and we'll see what's up. Oh. Cool. Oh. Alright. Yay, time What? It's your dad's car, isn't it? Let's steal it. This is your safe place. Aw, his dad's car. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. You can always be with your dad when you're riding in his car. Oh, I, th I think, also, I think Nox is royalty. I think, I think he's, or Noct. I think he's royalty. I think he's like the prince. So his dad's the king, so he probably never gets to spend any time with him. 
Everyone's waiting for you. Thanks, buddy. In you oh, go. Oh, I want him. I know. I want a little stuffed toy of whatever he is. Whatever his name is. Did he say his name? I don't think he did. No. Bye, buddy. Don't get eaten by monsters. Please don't. That would make me sad. Enter a name for your dream guy. Oh, his name is Carbuncle. Oh, I like that. That's cute. I'm going to keep that. Okay. Unless you had a better idea. No. Well, I have a million ideas, but... How many of them are appropriate? Probably five. <laughs> Carbuncle it is. Use the name Carbuncle? Yeah, why not? Not like I'm going to be... Oh, man, that was it. Dang it. Nox's fragmented dreamscape offers only a mere taste of what's to come. In Final Fantasy XV, you'll join a grown-up Noctis and his, de his dependable buddies on a journey across an immersive and expansive world. From all of us on the Final Fantasy XV team, including your favorite little magical guide, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Oh, it squeaked. He squeaked at me. Oh, okay, that was cute. Is that a chocobo? I was about to say, I think that's a chocobo. <laughs> Oh, I, I see what you're doing there, Final Fantasy demo, but no, not yet. Purchase the game at any time by selecting order from the title screen. Yeah, 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 I know. You're pushing your sale on me. I get it. That's what they're supposed to do. I know, I know. That's the point of the demo. Okay, so that was Final Fantasy XV Platinum demo. I was, um... I mean, I guess I was kind of impressed. It looked good. I was, I was really expecting there to be more to it, though. I mean, I probably missed a lot of stuff, so leave in the comments if there were other things that I missed and if you think I should do another episode of it if I missed enough stuff to fill an episode, and I'll go back and play it again. That was cool. I don't see how you could have filled that with, like, more than 20, 30 minutes max. Yeah, because I've heard that you can get, like, three or four hours of gameplay out of this, so I'm sure there was some things that I missed. So I'll look it up, and if I found out that I missed enough content that I want to make another episode out of it, then I'll do that. Might as well. Why not? But that was at least interesting. That at least has me a little bit intrigued, because that was kind of a, a gameplay style that I can really get into. Because, like I said, I'm not good at turn-based. And so, as while a lot of people were really upset when Final Fantasy started going less turn-based because that was what it always was, I was a little bit happy about that because that means that maybe I can actually beat some of these games now and not just have to rely on watching playthroughs on YouTube just to see what happens at the end of Final Fantasy VIII because I suck at it, cough, cough. <laughs> but I had fun. It was at least interesting. Like, the music was nice. It looked visually good. I'm, I'm at least a little bit hopeful. But like I said, this game has a lot of impressing to do because it was 10 years ago that they announced it. I don't care about all the development hell that got it held up. I don't care that there was a lot of time when they weren't working on it. They announced it 10 years ago because that's one of my beefs with Square Enix. They love announcing things. They love making movies and making trailers for their stuff. And they love to announce shit. And they do it way too early. Like, like I said, they made a full trailer for this game before they'd even started working on it. So, I don't know. It's got a lot of making up to do. They have a lot of, uh, they have a lot of stuff to prove to me. So, leave in the comments below what you think about this game and what you think about the demo. Are you excited for this game? Do you think it's going to be fun? Uh, let me know. I'm interested. So, I will see you guys in the next video, whatever that might be. And thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye. She did a team heart. Uh, I'm sorry. Did what? Did, it said knock this transform. Am I this truck? You're not in the truck, so I assume you are the truck. How do I? Oh my god, I am the truck. We're driving to the 